Hello, hello, and welcome everybody. This is Asha here at the Awakening SF, Awakening Your Soul Freedom, with the third episode of Constellations Connections with and Transmissions with Lightworkers. Today we have Matt Sturm on the line, and I'm so excited because we are going to be actually be talking about the evolution of consciousness big talk topic but i know that y'all are really excited to be jumping in if you're following the awakening this is totally up your alley and i just want to introduce matt here for a second so welcome matt thank you i'm so happy to be here <laughs> so yeah. so happy to have you um and congratulations by the way on your reiki master teacher certification by the way at the awakening thank you Yay! Matt is a guide for transformational experiences. I love that's like the encapsulated way that we can say this because there's so much that you do. Um, he is the founder of Living Cosmos. Essentially, it's a school that's focused on the evolution of consciousness. And it's really at the intersection of science and spirituality. So if you're looking to kind of dabble in the high, like, the convergence point of both of those worlds, Matt's definitely the guy for you. Um, you know, he's thoroughly trained in somatic psychotherapy, including Hatha yoga and Reiki. We just talked about that. Earth-based healing rituals for expanded states of consciousness, sacred sexuality, um, and somatic meditation. There's just so much. You are a powerhouse. Again, welcome aboard, Matt. <laughs> Thank you. What an amazing introduction. <laughs> yeah. <so> here. <laughs> There's just so much that you have to offer. And I know you just mm -hmm. launched a new online course, Experience Higher Consciousness. Yes. And so I'm excited to, you know, ask you some questions about that and as well as just kind of feel into because I asked you, I said, you know, like Matt, what do you want to talk about today? And you had mentioned that you want to talk about this evolution of consciousness topic. What was your inspiration <laughs> for, yeah. for this topic today? Well, I mean, first and foremost, um, I'm interested in the evolution of consciousness because that's what I've been working on in myself. Um, you know, on my path, as you just noted, I've studied a lot of different things, but kind of the core element that they all have in common is consciousness or you could say life being. It's about stepping into that greater experience of who we are. And so as I began to recognize that in myself, I was like, oh, consciousness is this thread that runs in between spiritual and mystical traditions. It's kind of where we're trying to get to through all of these different practices. And by studying consciousness, we can actually start to grow and evolve our own consciousness. So it's something that I got passionate about within myself. And then as I generally do, whatever I'm passionate about turns into what I start sharing and teaching back into the world. Oh yeah, you're such a big light channel. And I'm wondering like, where does one start? Because you just launched this course, Experience Higher Consciousness on Udemy. And I'm really excited to be jumping in a little bit to that here in a moment. But like, where does one even start on their journey and experiencing higher consciousness mm. like and 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 where yeah and, and like how do you where did you start like how, how does one know where to start with such a grand totally. topic here yeah well what i find with the folks that i work with is that there's some kind of inkling there's an idea or a longing or a yearning that there's something more out there. And so that's what we start with. We start with that curiosity and that little bit of a draw into the mystery, into the unknown. And everybody has their own unique path through this. And so oftentimes someone are, most people already have had a couple of experiences that have been kind of open or profound or really big but oftentimes we're missing a framework to contextualize what that was and what that means. And so 
on the one hand, we really want to start to experience ourselves beyond just our conceptual mind into a, a greater, more expansive space. And then on the other hand, we also need a little bit of a map, a little bit of guidance to understand what is this experience that I'm having and how does that fit into my worldview? Yeah, I, I've definitely heard that with some clients and students at The Awakening too, is it's almost like they just want to have one, the validation and to be around people who have had these transformational experiences, but then also kind of, yeah, when you say the framework, like have some, have somewhere to put it and have some, like a guide and, and, and how do you, how do you assist with that? Like, how do you guide people or like what framework do you find is most effective to allow people to take that train um, in a grounded way and, and to keep that moving forward? Yeah, absolutely. Well, um, I like to use a lot of different tools. I like to use meditation. Um, there's a type of um, like kind of liminal state meditation called yoga nidra, where you're half asleep, half awake. Mm, I've heard of that. Kind of take the back seat, and so it's a little bit easier to do the exploration. Um, breath work is a really direct channel, so pranayama or um, holotropic breathing, where you're bringing a lot of breath and energy into the body, really starts to open things up. So there are a lot of different tools that we can use to access these expanded states. And then it's really helpful along the way to say, okay, now that you've done all this breathing, feel this, look for this, like breathe into your heart and see if you can find any boundaries or edges. And what you might find is that there's no edge inside your heart that you can just keep going. And so having that little bit of guidance around where to look or what to look for can make it a lot quicker for us to access these places. Ooh, and this is reminding me of things that you and I have talked about before, Matt, of like this bridge between the head and the heart and having some, even if you're in your spiritual journey and you're in this direct revelatory experience that you're still able to kind of like wrap your head around the internal sensations and like what's going on. Do I have that right? Totally. Absolutely. So, you know, I graduated from undergrad with a degree in math. I have a very strong intellectual, rational mind. And there's this idea that on the spiritual path, we have to kill the ego. Ego death is the goal. And um, I find that that's actually just not helpful. That if we're not bringing all of us on this journey, then there's some dissociation and we're leaving parts of ourselves behind. So we want the rational conceptual mind to come along on this ride and really to find its proper place. So the term that I love is we work at the mind-body interface. Come into the body, we have an expanded experience, and we take it back up into our conceptual mind and we integrate it. We understand what's happening. By interfacing between these two, all of us gets to come on the ride. Yeah, you got it. I was just going to say, it sounds like integration. And then you took the word right out of my mouth because it's yeah. like, I'm with you. I experienced that a lot too, is, is that like people want to leave here or they're like excited to go there, whatever that means, but oh. we still are in this form. And so we have so much to do here with all of that magic. Yes. And at the end of the day, if you're like blasting off to bliss states, but you come back and you're still unhappy and you're still struggling and things are still not working in your day-to-day -day life, then your spiritual path is not truly in service to all of you. What we want is less of like the bliss states for a moment. And we want our whole lives to ease up, to, be, to have less suffering and to be more joyful. And that's really what this path is about, in my opinion. Mm, luscious. I think we're all looking to be more joyful. And it, it just is bringing back what you were talking about that, you know, there are so many different states of emotion. There's so many ways of being. 
that if we can find a way to kind of bridge it all and bring it back to joy and whatever that means for us, just kind of be in our experience that um, we could lead, lead a little bit more of, I guess you would say, like, as you're calling it, like an evolved life, would you, would you say that? Yeah, we're, we're practicing, we're growing through into our own evolution. And part of that is finding the places where we habitually get ourselves stuck or where we habitually cause ourselves pain or torment and unwinding those habits and releasing those limiting beliefs so that our lives can be more easeful. And then slowly, slowly, we start to open up into the beauty of our lives and the sacredness of the world that's just here around us. We don't have to go look somewhere else for the sacred. We start to just walk with sacred presence. Mm, I always say delicious, but that just, even as you're talking, it's like this. I feel like I am starting to embody just through your words, like this liquid meditation, this um, inside of my body. I'm, I feel myself feeling and softening into my experience, even just directly with you. Um, and I was reading some of the reviews that you had and, and people are just in love with the, the tone of your voice and how safe and how like comfortable that they feel like mm -hmm. in their bodies, in the presence that is shared with you in this course on Udemy. So I'm really excited to jump into that a little bit. Thank you. You know, um, I'm big on the body and somatics. So as you mentioned, I, like Hatha yoga, somatic psychotherapy, somatic meditation, it's all about coming in here. Now, when we first start to connect with our bodies, there's a lot of tension. There's stored up traumas that are in our bodies. There are these big overwhelming emotions that may be hanging out down here. There's a lot that can start to come up. And so really like the pathway into working with our bodies is about slowing down, it's about listening to our bodies and going at <laughs> like totally works for us. So I love that big breath you just took. And it's by going slow paradoxically that we're able to go deep. Mm. Yeah, well said, Matt. It there, it really is a slowing down. We just pulled a turtle card to represent this oh. week, um, as we do our weekly spiritual forecast at the awakening. So turtle, turtle was one of the medicines, and it it feels like that, like greater lens. And I know there are, there are so many different modules in this course too. Do you mind if we talk a little bit about the course that you're offering? Yeah, I'd be delighted. So it's called Experience Higher Consciousness. And uh, I tried to go for a pretty straightforward title so that you would know what you were getting into when you signed up for it. And um, I'll just talk through the different modules that are, that are in the course. Um, we have a module on removing our blockages. So working out some of the tension in our body working out some of these habits like overwhelming ourselves or getting too stressed out. Basically, if you have these stressors in your life that will prevent you from sitting down and meditating or prevent you from doing the contemplation exercises because there's just so much other stuff happening, we have to start with those stressors first. So that's where we start in the course is just taking a look at what might be getting in the way and some simple tools to kind of unwind those. And then we get into the real material. So the, the following module is about body level consciousness. So, you know, one simple example here, we have somewhere around 6 trillion cells in our bodies. And every single cell is breathing. Every single cell is eating and activating and performing an essential function for us in connection with all of the other cells around it, in harmony with the organ, and ultimately in connection with all of the other trillions of cells in our bodies. So each cell has its own tiny point of awareness. And when we step out of our conceptual mind, we can actually come into this, this greater awareness of our body. And uh, it's kind of like this magical doorway that we get to step into through meditation. 
Whoa, that feels like experiencing and touching in to all the stars in the universe, but in the collective inside of our bodies, which could be represented as the collective of all of us on the planet. I mean, I'm just mind blown right now. Yeah, exactly. It is mind blowing. And it's also um, so exciting to discover this playground of infinite possibility that's right here. It's with us all the time. So that module is on body level consciousness. It's about exploring what we can open up through our bodies as our bodies. From there, we move into um, breath and subtle energy. And we have some breathing practices, some pranayama. Um, we get to connect with Reiki energy, which is a beautiful benevolent life energy. Uh, my Reiki teacher, Asha Eden, Hey! <laughs> <laughs> and we can see through these practices that are in that module that breath and energy are kind of two sides of the same coin. So by breathing in more, we're infusing ourselves with more energy, which is to say we're connecting with our vitality, our life force. And that vitality and life force has its own sense of awareness, its own intelligence, its own wisdom really that moves through it. And so we start to tap into what that feels like. Mm, I feel like right now would just be a luscious time to offer a couple of breaths for people. Would you feel open to calling us just into our body just for a moment, just for like a few breaths to be able to touch in in some way to have this slowing down kind of experience mm. that you're referring to? Would that be something that would feel okay well, for you right now yeah, let's play with yeah. that okay so get nice and comfortable like make any adjustments you need to make in your seat right now and put down any other distractions that may be here and let's just take a few deep breaths and as we breathe in drawing the breath all the way down to the lower belly like all the way down and then as you exhale, just relax and release. With your next in-breath, again, deep, full breath, breathing all the way in. Expanding down, this time expand all the way down to your pelvic floor. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. And then on the exhale, just melt. Breathing in again, filling up, finding a little bit of rhythm with the breath now as we breathe in fully expanding. And then on the exhale, stay open and just release. Last breath, we'll just do one more together. So breathing in, filling all the way up with air. And then let go of everything as you exhale. Breathe normally and just continue to let go. Let your whole body just loosen up. How are you feeling, Asha? Oh my gosh. Well, number one, my heart is leaping with joy. And number two, I feel like I am, I haven't gone to a spa in so long because of COVID and all the closures, but I feel like I'm, I'm just like in a float, you know, yeah. and like one of those floating tanks or being so, like held by the universe. I just feel so calm. I feel like I just had a spa day, essentially is what I'm getting at. <laughs> super empowering things about this work is that we start to understand our own agency that you know we may be stressed out from work or whatever and then when we have a break we can actually use it to do some breathing like this to relax again and that relaxation or calm or peace or big energetic experiences they're all kind of just right there if we choose to open that doorway for ourselves Mm. this is such a gift 
that you're offering to people. Yeah. I mean, I, I think, you know, there are other modules too. So you talked about the, um, like releasing the blockages so that we can access our, our body with spaciousness is kind of what I was kind of feeling you were getting at. And then the breath and the energy consciousness, which is another module. Then you've got two other modules, which just feel super expanded. I mean, talk about higher consciousness, the soul consciousness and universal consciousness as a part of this course too. What can you tell us about that and what you cover in those, what, um, 17 lectures <laughs> you've got at the end, just to tie it up? <laughs> Thanks, Eden, for being, I think, maybe my number one fan on this course right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I still have to go through and have the entire experience myself, but I'm really excited to be able to do that. So, Sure. So soul level consciousness is about, again, we're creating some space beyond our conceptual mind where we normally hang out in rational thought and personality level. We step into the experience of our soul and the soul has this blueprint for us. It has the path of growth kind of laid out and it's always giving us the next step when we're ready to take it. So whatever we're ready to grow into, whatever we're ready to learn, the soul is opening up for us and it connects us with our heart's desire, um, which is different from our, our ego desire. Our heart's desire is really how we want to become the next version of us. And so the soul module is about opening up into that. Ooh, I'm like, this is, this is my jam. You know, this madam, like, this sounds totally like what a lot of people are exploring right now. And what I take people through in the gold era too, is like this um, exp exploration of what I call their Akashic records. But those are always changing at every given time that when we're accessing the higher realms, we have that entire blueprint laid in front of us. And these like, yeah, these avenues open, just like what you said, all these synchronicities were like, do we take this one? Do we take that one? And how does one know, Matt, like, do you have an idea about like, how do they know which path is right for them, so to speak, in, right. in, in all that opens up, you know, before them in that soul blueprint? Mm -hmm. So here's the thing. Our conceptual mind asks questions and decides it makes decisions it tries just like to I did <laughs> and it says is this right or is this right so if you're in the place of like which one is right you're up here by coming down into our hearts the heart just knows there's no question it's just like this this is you may not like this answer you may like try to repress it but this is the answer <laughs> That is such a good point. So it sounds like you're also leading people into more direct experience with tapping into their own internal compass, like their own heart space. Yes, that is exactly it. And then the final module is called universal consciousness. So um, that's the big one. And in that module, we connect with compassion, which is a very deep topic. But in a, in a nutshell, compassion means feeling the experience of others directly in our hearts and recognizing it as our own. That on some level, there's really not a separation between you and me. We're all kind of in this together. And when we feel that, when we recognize that, all of a sudden, we're in a very expanded place of consciousness. We're in literally unity consciousness because we are all one we're all doing this together so universal consciousness is about connecting with our higher self and what that means is that we're letting go of any fears fear creates separation um, and we're stepping into this place of love of compassion of abundance and we're starting to recognize that while I may go through my day as an individual human, there's a, there's a greater perspective that I can step into, which is that I am one integral part of this living, breathing existence, this living, breathing cosmos, and this human family that we all share. Mm, 
Yeah, and that that is the message, right? It we is, are yeah. one. We have so much to learn here <laughs> yeah. with one another and in your course too. And and as we come to a close on our time together, Matt, mm -hmm. I just want to see if there is there anything else that's alive in your heart that is leaping forward to be given to this to this audience. You have so much to teach. You have so much wisdom, mm -hmm. and and we all do, right? So. <laughs> So there's two things. One is just to share that getting to put this course together was one of the most profound practices of self-love that I've ever done. And so I got to just receive so much by putting it together and then offering it back out. And it's from that richness that we all get to um, enjoy this together and learn this together. The other piece is um, that I'm offering a coupon for the course for uh, listeners and um, fans of The Awakening. So it's a it's a 50% coupon. Oh, here we go. Da, 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 da. Just figured I'd pull it up for the folks. <laughs> <laughs> you are amazing. Okay. Yeah, so 50% off coupon. It's valid for the next four days. Um, and my gift to you, check it out, try it out, and dive in. 15 hours of on-demand video, full lifetime access, certificate of completion. Hey, hey, awakening coupon. That's cool. <laughs> the coupon code is, is awakening. I think we can remember that. <laughs> and I just want to give you a big congratulations, Matt. And for everybody who's watching, like, I remember when you were touching in and you were saying that um, in the first day of launching this, you had 500 people that actually had enrolled and now you're at over 3,091 students on this Udemy course. I mean, I'm just. <laughs> yeah. I've been totally blown away by the response to this course. Um, like, I, like I said, I did it for me because I thought it would be good for me. And then um, to have this type of reception has just been beyond, beyond. So. Um, well, I mean, I think the thing is too, is like, ten dollars <laughs> like this is where i just want to be like what like i feel like the amount of information that you're talking about here and and have parceled into this tight container which is a very expanded container <laughs> too if we think about like the human form and everything we're exploring and there being you know all accessible parts of the universe and everything we're mentioning it's like what that how much is that worth you know i feel like we all can spot be like, hey, can you spot me ten dollars because I'm evolving my consciousness, and like we could all make that happen, you know. Yeah. So well, there's a lot there. Here's the thing, Asha. If I were to offer a course that's about stepping into unity consciousness, saying we're all doing this together, and then I were to charge five thousand dollars so that I could get rich and buy myself a big house, that wouldn't exactly be in alignment, right? <laughs> so it feels like you. I mean, this is why I love you so much, too, brother. Like that you did this from the heart you did this like for you and as a part of a gift like to to people and it's just so accessible like it makes me want to cry because it just feels like there's there's so many people who are looking for some deepened level of understanding about why they're here what this means how to be one with other people in that compassionate way and and themselves and so it's all laid out there. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your gift. Yeah, it's it's just my pleasure, really. And it's a total honor to get to share it. So mm, thank you so much for being here on Constellations, Connections and Transmissions with Lightworkers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is so good. I can't wait to just like just jump on in. If anybody has any questions at the awakening as to like yeah anything that we talked about today just drop it in the comments below matt and i will get at you and then we actually will put the link um to the course below as well with the coupon code um and so feel free to check out matt's work as well at livingcosmos with a k.com um, i know he teaches a lot of different things on again the intersection between science and spirituality including tarot and 
oh my God, Kabbalah. Like there's just so much there that Matt does. So please check him out. And um, oh, and then for all of you watching as well, the Gold Era group program, it's a three month intuitive intensive actually closes this Wednesday, but we're jumping into some of those themes too. Um, overcoming obstacles, grounding into our bodies, opening up into those higher states too. And it's gonna be really, really fun. I'm happy to get on anybody with an explorative tea time if you wanna learn more information or just go to theawakeningsf.com. And I guess we'll just see you all next Monday at 1 p.m. Um, for our next show, it'll be episode four and you'll just have to follow us at The Awakening to see who's coming on next because it's a little bit of a surprise. But we'll see you next time. Thank you, Matt, for joining us. My pleasure. Yay, yay, yay. <laughs> so good to be here. <laughs> and I guess, yeah, we'll see you then. Bye for now, everybody. We are one. <laughs>